Detroit DIY today. This is going to be the first part of a longer video. So we are quickly going to do a DIY tofu press. Now, as you know, we are vegetarian, and if you don't know, tofu has to be pressed before it can be used. It soaks up water. It's kind of like a sponge. Now, you can press it with a towel, or you can make a tofu press. Uh, we have here a broken cutting board. That was a cutting board that Sarah's had for a long time. She handed it to me the other day, and it broke. So this is what I'm going to use to build the tofu press. I'll run through the tools I'm gonna to use, then we'll get to work, and then after that we're gonna make dinner right after we build this, so it's gonna be pretty cool. So today we'll be using the broken cutting board. I have two drills, a chop saw, a set of paddle bits, some regular drill bits, a pencil, uh, a speed square. We also have a tube of wood putty, our hardware, and a tape measure. All right, so starting off, building this was very simple. I simply took this uh, broken cutting board and cut it into two four and a half inch squares. After I cut the block down to a workable size, I went ahead and took my speed square and my tape measure and measured out the block sizes and where I wanted to make the cuts. As you can see, I just cut two identical blocks out of the broken cutting board. So I used my speed square here just to mark a four and a half inch section. Then from there, I put it in the saw and cut those down. Now I went ahead and marked a quarter inch off the edge of each of the blocks where I decided to drill the hole that the, uh, the hardware would be going through. Uh, I think a quarter inch gave exactly three and a half inches on the inside, which is what we needed to fit a standard block of tofu inside. I recommend drilling halfway down the side of the block, and then from there, a quarter inch in from each side. Try to make it as even as possible, and then start drilling your holes. So what I did initially on the bottom block, so that it sat evenly on whatever surface we're cooking on, is I used a 5 8 paddle bit and drilled about halfway through the block of wood. From there, I followed that with a quarter inch drill bit and punch out those holes. That way we can sink the hardware through and it'll sit flush. So I wanted to make sure the bolts that I put through the cutting board were recessed and then in the bottom piece, they were nice and tight. I didn't want there to be a large gap between the threaded part and the wood. I wanted it to be pretty snug. I went ahead and lined the two pieces of cutting board up the best that I could and drilled a hole through both pieces. So after I had both pieces stacked on top of one another, I went ahead and grabbed the tw a quarter inch drill bit and just drilled, drilled holes in a straight line down either side of the block. I followed up with a smaller drill bit on the outside of the larger holes, uh, just to make sure there's adequate draining through the top and bottom. So the final step of the process was to disassemble and quickly sand off where I made the cuts just to make sure there's no splinters or rough edges. I simply used a piece of 220 grit paper and sanded lightly. So I went ahead and used the JB Weld wood putty. I simply broke off a small piece from the tube, uh, mixed it up in my hands like uh, Play-Doh and shoved the hardware through the piece of the cutting board. After I made sure it was pushed on all the way, I capped the end off with the wood putty. After I got both the holes filled, I made sure they were nice and flat and then set it aside to dry. Finish it up with your wing nuts and you're done, just like that. I went ahead and used just a uh, shop rag to clean off the hardware, any of the putty that was stuck inside of the threads. You don't wanna let that harden up on there because then it's gonna be really difficult to get the wing nut to thread over. Alright guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and cleaned up the garage. 
I think the Togo press is gonna work out really well. It seems to be working just fine. Uh, off camera, I went ahead and made these holes on the top plate a little bit bigger, and that way it slides easier. Uh, and then on the back, the putty has since dried. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this food safe. Me and Sarah are gonna be making uh, a tofu Buddha bowl tonight for dinner. We'll be using this. And we're also gonna be filming that, so check it out tomorrow. But don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Tell your friends and family, you know, stay young, stay extraordinary, and go make a tofu press.